Hi guys, Mr. Rufflewuffles here. Straightforward, no-nonsense, wolf bow upgrade guide. Let's go. Just like all my other bow upgrade guides, I'm going to remind you now that you do need the bow in order to do this. So feed the dragons, get the bow, and then you can start the guide. The first step requires use of four posters that you can find around the map. I'll show you the locations a bit more clearly in a moment, but this is what they all look like. You'll notice that if you go up to them and hold square, you get an audio prompt. You either hear a guitar strum, which is a thumbs up, or you hear a which is a thumbs down. To initially figure this out, people had to use trial and error to chain thumbs up sounds between different posters. So they would go to one poster, see if it gave them the thumbs up sound. If it did, they'd go to another poster, test to see if they got the thumbs up again. If they didn't, they'd start the sequence again, and it was trial and error. However, you don't need to do this because the order of the posters has been discovered for you to use. It's throne, knight, mountain, arrows. Ah, here's the first one. I've been looking for you. Hold square on it. If you're doing it right, you'll get that thumbs up sound like I said. If you mix the order up, you'll get a meh sound like you just heard in my game then. That's because I went straight from throne to arrows, and that's not the correct order. The correct order is throne, knight, mountain, arrows. The locations of the posters will switch around each game between the four possible locations. You've just seen two of them. One was in the clock tower, the other was in the room above Mule Kick. The next is coming up here. This would be number two. Thank you. The last remaining location for me to show you is in the church just above the M8A7 up the stairs here opposite Speed Cola. Number three, a personal favorite. Last time I saw this was when I picked up the key. As you can hear, your character will tell you as you're going along how you're doing. Now I've got to do my fourth one. Old number four. Unfortunately, dear king, paddling that particular evil only ever has one outcome. Lovely, we're making good progress. Now come down here past the knight's tomb and out of the wall will pop your arrowheads. The king's voice. Pick them up, then make your way over to the teleporter launch pad and teleport. There is a flag at the top of this mountain here. You need to shoot the flag with your bow. Easy. If you miss it, just take another shot. Very straightforward. When you hit it, a skull will roll down the mountain and land within the map for you to pick up. Once you grab it, come back to the undercroft and go over to the box that has the two wolf heads on it. Just to the side of that box is a little skeleton with no head. You're giving it a head by giving it the skull you've just picked up. So hold square on that skeleton, or basically just hold square on the box if you want to do it that way, you will see a dog appear. Next, follow the dog. That's all you got to do. Just follow the dog, keep walking with it, eventually the dog will stop. The dog will look at the floor and dig a little hole, and then it will start howling. This means you quite simply need to fill the hole with souls. So kill 10 zombies around the hole while the dog is just chilling out there. And once it's done, the dog will go back to the hole, dig a little more, and the hole will glow blue. This means that you can pick up a bone from inside the hole, and then the dog will move on to the next hole. There are three holes in total. The first hole is very straightforward to access. It's in the courtyard outside the church. The second hole is at the slope outside Double Tap. Just go over there with the dog. Keep the dog with you at all times where possible. And again, same procedure. Kill 10 zombies. Fill the hole with the souls. The dog will dig. You pick up a bone. And then you move on to the third hole, which is in the Undercroft just outside that pack-a-punch piece location. I want to note here that if you think you've glitched your game and the dog has disappeared and everything is going to hell, then I want you to take a deep breath and just start a new round and in the new round, hold square again on the box. This should cause the dog to respawn and it will walk to whatever hole you were last working on. Once you've got that last piece of skeleton from the last hole, the dog will wander over towards the wall and paw at it a little bit. Now, I know that most of you guys will have already activated the pyramid, but I'm making this comprehensive, so I'm going to mention it now anyway. To do this next step, you need to be able to wall run, so you need to have the pyramid active, and what that means is that you need to go to the pyramid, and around it there are four square panels on the floor, stand on them until they glow permanently blue, and once you've done all four, the pyramid will start a pyramid 
periodic cycle of anti-gravity in the Undercroft. This means that every roughly two minutes or so, you'll get anti-gravity down there. Assuming that's all done though, which it really should be by now, what you need to do is go over to the area of wall that the dog is pawing at, look up, and shoot the dog heads that you can see up there with your bow. This is another step that a lot of people are getting mixed up with, and all you need to do is shoot the dog heads. You do not need to shoot into the tomb. When you shoot the heads, a platform will temporarily assemble, will run onto it, and then hold square, a skeleton will appear and hand you an arrow. Hold square again to pick up the arrow. If you miss it, by the way, make the platform again, deep breath, don't worry, it's gonna be okay, and then grab the arrow, and once you've got the arrow, you need to come to the box with the wolf heads on it next to the pyramid. Place the arrow in that box, and then it's another case, just like the other bows, of charging the box with souls. A quick reminder, you have to be the one to kill the zombies, and they have to be near the box so that it can actually charge. If someone else kills the zombies, it will not charge your box for you. Bear that in mind. And once it's done, you'll hear this cue. Just like all the other bows, once it's charged, you just go up to the box and hold square. It will take your bow, and then the transformation will occur. Powerful spirits will join us in battle. There you go. You've upgraded your wolf bow. Congratulations. Hopefully this no-nonsense guide has been to your liking. If it has been, then why not leave a like? Share the love, yeah? If not, then let me know why in the comments down below. I've got plenty of other guides on my channel right now if you want to check out some of the other bow guides. If you have any other guides that you'd like to request, then let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. One thing a lot of people have asked for is gameplay of all of the bows upgraded. I actually died in my game when I was recording this particular bit of gameplay, so I couldn't record any other gameplay for you. Sorry, but I'm going to do a specific video focusing on gameplay of all the different bows to showcase all of their effects, and that'll be out very, very soon. Other than that, though, thank you so much for watching. Really, I do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Toodles!